When you begin your Coromon journey, you'll be provided with many different options when it comes to both difficulty and customization. Coromon features five difficulty settings, four of which are preset difficulties, while the fifth is a complete array of custom settings that will allow you to specifically cater the game to your playstyle. On the preset side, we have an easy mode which will recover health on level up, have the price of items in the shop, and allow for healing items to revive fainted Coromon. Normal mode has no special rules and is the recommended difficulty setting for newcomers. Hard mode Mode adds Coromon permadeath upon fainting, though do note that Coromon can be retrieved by lowering the difficulty setting later. This setting also disallows escape from wild battles. And finally, we have Insane Mode, which includes the hard difficulty settings and only allows for one capture per route, with the exception, of course, being perfect Coromon. It also disallows the use of teleporting items. As you can see, each of these difficulty options are specifically catered to different types of players. If you're looking for something on the more casual side, you can play on easy or normal, and if you want something more similar to a Nuzlocke run, you can play on hard or insane. Over to the custom mode option, these can be broken down into three categories, easier game settings, harder game settings, and randomization settings. Easier settings just allow for more customization and toggles for the perks added in the previously mentioned easy mode preset. Harder settings allow you to specifically customize some of the harder options and has a few settings including toggles for the presets for hard and insane mode but also fun stuff like restricting what you can capture you can set it to wild Coromon only you could set it to only trainer Coromon or both and you could even limit how many visits you can make to a trainer hub in order to heal finally we have the random settings which are unlocked by defeating Voltgar the first boss of the game these allow for a huge amount of variance between playthroughs you could choose to randomize all enemy trainer Coromon all Coromon skills all wild Coromon Coromon traits, evolution paths, items including those found and in quests, and a whole lot more. There are also subsettings for some of these as well. For example, you can choose whether or not you want a random evolution to allow for the Coromon to evolve into a lesser stage Coromon, or if you still want them to improve by evolving it to a higher stage Coromon. All in all, Coromon offers far more options than most games in the genre. This finally allows players to choose settings that best fit them, allowing for an insane amount of customization and replayability.